Ball is a man that's opening the ball in for Zimbabwe. And already just a little bit of a leading edge to Tofik Omar. This is the 192nd One International to be played here at Sharjah. Only uh, one of three venues to play more than 100. Sydney 115 and Melbourne 114. So lots of one day cricket has been played here over the years. Looking for any nick. That's whipped away, leg side. That's a good shot. The outfield is pretty quick as well. That's running away for four. That's the first boundary of the Cherry Blossom Sharjah Cup and the first boundary to Pakistan. Once again, hit streak straying around the legs of uh, Taufik Uma and uh, just flicks it away on the onside. Very well played by the young Potsman. That would give him plenty of confidence once he opens his account with a boundary like that. Solid shot. That's through the covers in front of square on the offside. Graham is the man that's uh, chasing. Bit of tag teamwork and two more runs for Tofi Goma. So that's the end of the fifth over. 24 for no loss. That's away. Just the two bounces and over the rope for four. Batsmen just uh, love it when it's outside the off stump and an opportunity to free themselves. And that was wide outside the off stump, short. And young Hafiz um, making full use of it. There's no men down there patrolling the boundary. And he gets it over the infield. He's got it. There was a noise there. Definitely picked him up. He's walked. So Heath Streak has picked up uh, the first wicket here. Just a faint tickle through to, to 10 to Taibu. Gets the ball in the right areas, right in the channel, and drawing the young Mohammed Hafiz into the shot. It was a bit of a nothing shot. There was no nothing positive about it. He just uh, tentatively uh, thrust his bat forward, and uh, it was a simple catch to uh, wicketkeeper Taibu. So, so Mohammed Hafiz, uh, he departs for 12, and that's the first wicket down for 32. Clean him up. Lovely delivery from Andy Blignot. Straight to the defences of Naveed Latif, and he'll be disappointed, really, missing out on a huge opportunity here. It wasn't uh, a great delivery, but it was uh, more because of, uh, of the doing of the bat and there, through the bat and pad. I was just talking about how Andy Blignot had to be an example to young fellas who are coming into the Zimbabwean team a good start for Zimbabwe particularly seniors they have to utilize the new ball and get in, into the Pakistan order he gets rid of Latif he's gone for three he scored 38 for two 49 for two Hafiz and Navid Latif the two younger men or uh, the new faces in the Pakistan team are back in the pavilion that's not a new face. He's uh, travelled the world with the Pakistan team. And again, this is a chance he run, but I think this time he was making it safely. Brings up the 50 for Pakistan. Oh, bold him. Well, he'll get one more over for sure. Uh, this is another disappointing shot, I must say, from a Pakistani batsman. He trick has picked up his second wicket. Well, under the circumstances, a very poor shot indeed. Taufik Homa has batted right from the start of the innings. He's done the hard work of getting himself in, but frustration building up. Heat streak, reaping the reward of some good pulling there. So Taufik Homa picking the wrong ball to play the full shot. Not very short again. Drags it on and success again for Zimbabwe. They pick up the third wicket and Pakistan are 50 for three. Taufik Omar bowls streak for 16 and it's 50 for 3. Uh, he's missed it. It was a nicely timed shot. Heat streak at mid on, lunged at it. It's 4 more to Pakistan. Well, he's spent more than half an hour at the crease, Yusuf Yahana. And first shot of brilliance. He's an extremely good player, has played himself in. It's not an easy pitch to drive down the pitch, but the full face of the bat, nice extensions of the drive. And the placement couldn't have been better. Bowling change. The 
The outfield is not lightning quick, but this might just go all the way. Douglas Marilia, the fielder who gives up. So another boundary to Pakistan. Well, the first delivery from Arvind. Gentle loosener. There was a bit of swing into the batsman. It was over pitch, and Johanna uses his wrist to good effect. He's a strong player on the onside. Given the opportunity, he will make use of it. Pakistan need these important runs. Oh! He's found the gap, but has he got enough bat on it? There comes the famous Zimbabwe slide, and just the two runs. And the Yunus Khan was uh, quite keen to come back for the third. Oh, fine and taken. What a good catch that is. Tatan the Taibu doesn't surprise us with these catches. He's a talented young wicketkeeper. And Johanna uh, trying to run down another one to third man, this time a bit too close to the keeper, but a sensational catch. Absolute beauty. A treat to watch the slow delivery, the change of pace. The ball going to the right pretty quickly, and Chatinda Taibu is not a big man, had to cover a lot of ground. Kept his eyes on the ball and reacted quickly. The anticipation was brilliant. Going one-handed makes it a brilliant catch. Very, very good shot. Had to place it well, and he did. That is a fantastic shot. Been going on about how it's been difficult for Stroke playing on this wicket. On this occasion, short, wide. There's a man out on sweep offense on the offside. It's a placed to perfection, Shoaib Malik. Good shot. Look at uh, Sharjah skyline. Oh, that's uh, a bit of a freebie. That's gone. That is very, very well hit. It's hit, uh, it's hit the rope on the ball. Jumpai Jay Prakash in the end says that's six. Well, consistency is what's lacking. Miss Marillia starts with a full toss and hard to come by the boundaries and if you get an opportunity, need to utilize it. And then nicely into the gap. Very good cricket. Rotating the strike, putting the pressure upon the bowler. That's fine. Running off the face. Chase is on. Craig Gushart's been quite busy in that region over the last couple of overs. Has a bit of a slip and they come back for the third. Oh, oh, here's trouble. Here's trouble. Lob it back to the bowler. Grant Flowers got it. And off go the bales. Misunderstanding in the middle. Run out by 22 yards. Well, 19 runs. You're just talking about how important it was. Now, if we were to talk about something that has changed that whole over, it would have been the first bit of fielding that Douglas Honda has just pulled off that occasion a big mix-up huge mix-up yes it was the call he thought there was a run but 22 yards he's run out by he's got to go the young man very talented show Malik he goes for 13 Pakistan 101 for five oh. it's a good shot that is gonna go for four that is well played two men back and he picked the gap beautifully Well, he's going to have to play well here on in if Pakistan are to set a good target, winning target that is. And he's played a magnificent shot. A sweep shot, hit it spankingly hard. It's in the air for some while, but uh, it's hit very well. In fact, it's hit brilliantly. That is an important boundary of the last ball of the over. Eight runs coming from that, 27 gone, 115 for five. That's nicely put away by Rashid Latif. Very risky and importantly placed it beautifully. The Pakistani fans getting into the act. They realize Rashid Latif, the new skipper, has got to do the job. Good thinking. There was a big gap between Midon. Once he cleared the short mid wicket, the Midon was inside the circle. The deep mid wicket is far too square. Now, Rashid Latif does play this shot with a lot of guile. 
almost has perfected this uh, lap sweet shot. He is a very cheeky player, Rashid Latif. Might not be all the grateful, but very effective. Just going across the stumps, giving it direction, playing it very fine. The man at deep square was far too square, getting the placement right. And he had enough speed in the ball provided by Douglas Marilia. All he needed to make was a good contact. That's put away. Gone all the way. Second six of the innings. And that gets the crowd on their feet. Still chatting to his partner. He wants him to stay out there. Rashid Latif is motoring along nicely now. Well, that was a good pick. It was a higher trajectory, a lot more flight in that from Douglas Marilia. Rashid, Rashid Latif had enough time to fetch it from outside off stump. And he hit it a long way. And that boundary also getting Pakistan their 150. And this partnership now over 50. Exactly 52 of 50 balls. Looking for the second one. Oh, God. I think Rashid Latif will walk back. An afterthought for that second run and not good running at all. Travis Friend was the one who fired that one very quickly back to Tatinda Taibu. As we see Rashid Latif initially just looking for that one run because uh, there was only one there. So he picked it up quickly then uh, Rashid Latif thought that he can come back for the second. Very good throw and a very good take on the bounce by the keeper. And Zimbabweans uh, knew that uh, they'd got the batsman. Unlucky way to go. Rashid Latif, the Pakistani captain, perishes. 34, 159 for six now. 163 for six. Add another four to that. Nice shot by Yunus Khan. He moves on to 47 of 60 balls. So it's turning out to be good, important innings for him, himself in Pakistan. Nicely put away in the gap. Risty. There's a fielder there who will get around it. Oh, fumble. He's just bounced over the boundary rope. Andy Blignot is the man who couldn't keep the ball in play. It's well put away. It was a bad delivery from Hondo. But uh, Andy Blignot, he got his hands to it and would have uh, liked to have kept it inside the ropes. It's very well done, but um, unfortunately, the speed of the ball, which was in fact the full toss, the speed used by the batsman, preventing uh, him from saving that boundary. The sweep shot will get him his 50. Lone hand played by Yunus Khan. An extraordinary effort. 15 50 in his 76 match. And as we said earlier, he's never scored 100. That's a big one. The arms go up. So Yunus Khan is going to be the real uh, threat at this stage for Zimbabwe. And the blink knot. It's gone up. And taken. Safely taken at that. So blink knot getting a wicket. The first ball that is bowled in this spell. And Yunus Khan, on whom a lot depended, is now departing towards the dressing room. Time for a commentary change. Mike Hazeman with Tommy Mangwa. That's the wicket they needed. There was a chance that Pakistan were going to get a reasonable total here, but uh, Sean Irvin's the man down there at deep backward square who takes the catch. Andy Blicknight back into the attack, so he's got an important breakthrough. And Yunus Khan goes for 67, and Pakistan now 203 for 7. Very well struck. That's gone for six. Gee, that is a huge blow. Straight over long off for half a dozen runs. And maybe she was struck. Looks like she uh, copped a nasty one. Hopefully she's okay. Well, 
Well, he won't be her favorite cricketer. He's got a full ball from Andy Black Notes. He's got under that and hit it rather well. Unfortunate for that little girl. The leg side and running away for four more. Four leg buys, that'll be. These are bonus runs for Pakistan. done throughout this holding innings of Zimbabwe just straying just going leg side the ball from wide off the wickets that's where he bowls from and angling across and onto the pads of Abdur Razak the man up the fine leg so no protection down there gone again has it gone for six yes it has hope for the girls out the way she is and that's half a dozen more runs this is a good finish from Pakistan. End of the over. Good one for them. 18 runs from it. 227 for seven. Mervyn back in the attack. Give himself some room and uh, hasn't gone for four. Yes, it has. Missfield. That's exactly what Zimbabwe don't want and exactly what Pakistan sadly want. Zimbabwe pride themselves in being a really, really good fielding outfit. They've fielded really well this this innings a couple of run outs a few catches good catches this is what they did not need Travis friend makes good ground fortunately does not get his hands to the ball probably two again Mohammed Sami's out of the blocks very quickly are they going to the keep they are but Abdur Razak is going to get there see that's good running Mohammed Sami has been outstanding with support here with Abdur Razak So many people are unaware of how important it is as a non-striker to help the man who's actually doing the scoring of runs. Mohamed Sami is doing his job to perfection here, running magnificently, very quick out the blocks. He's got to the other end and back in a flash. It ensures that Abdir Razak gets another chance at hitting this ball out, out, out of this ground. That's what he'll be looking to do is swinging really hard doing a lot of connecting as well full toss has it gone for six yes it has that's another terrific shot spectators are ducking all over the place almost in the hospitality suite well I said he was swinging really hard he's also connecting really well sometimes you get overwhelmed by the moments Sean Irvin trying to get that ball, ball in the hole, in the block hole, missing by quite a long way. And the ball disappearing out the ground. Length again, he's gone underneath it. Six more runs. Brilliant stuff from Abdul Razak. He really has played superbly here. 50 up. Amazing stuff. In no time. Well, he's gone from 53% strike rate to over 100 he's got to 54 and has taken him just 47 deliveries this is the shot he's most adept at hitting over wide mid off and extra cover thing inside out when the ball's full magnificent stroke play full toss it's coming towards us the to box that's gone for six more ended up about 10 feet to our right what a huge blow that was oh my goodness this is absolutely amazing. Magnificent hitting. Low ball tosses are pretty difficult to hit, but he has hit that the furthest and the hardest of the lot. Full toss. Hit it well. Hit it beautifully. Six more runs. Wow, this is a great innings. Six, number six for Abdul Razak. He's hit more sixes than he's hit fours. He's only hit two fours in this innings. He's shown some great power. He's managed to hit that low full toss way over the boundary. 
There was some talk that he was going to be left out of uh, this squad to charge up Abdul Razak and uh, Rashid Latif is the man who insisted he should be here just as well. He's got a run for him straight back over the bowler's head. And six more. Well, well, well. There is really not too much more to say about all this. It really is quite astounding. From a situation where you thought Zimbabwe were in the pound seat, Abdur Razak has totally transformed this Pakistan innings with some amazing hitting. He's hit the ball over the boundary with relative ease taken it in his stride started off quite slowly he's now got up to 74 23 dots in that 74 25 minutes ago his strike rate was 53 it's now 142 21 runs from this over the last over bowled by Douglas Hondo and there's still one ball remaining it's got to be a Yorker it's full it's going to go for six if it can get underneath it to go for six 12-0. Mohamed Sami wants to come back for the second, and he's going to make it as well. Terrific running again for Mohamed Sami. Two runs to finish, 23 runs off that last over. 50 overs up, and Pakistan have been superb here. At one stage, they were going to get 230. Very, very good delivery first off. Just a little bit moving off the deck. Showing a bit of timber, but he's got that away pretty fine. The chase is on. It's not going to be stopped. That's four runs. So it's a little bit unorthodox there for Douglas Maria. He's off the mark. One over gone. Six for no loss. Gee, that's a great shot. That is a lovely shot for four. He's very, very strong in that area. Craig Wishart. Big, tall man. Very strong. Give him a bit of width. He's going to smash you. No movement whatsoever in the air or off the scene. Hit, had to hit through the line. That's well struck, and that's going to go for four. Just picked up off his hip. One bounce over the rope for four. When you bowl at that speed, you've got to be precise in your line and length. Not too much protection on the left side. Just three men there very nicely flicked good use of the bottom hand to get the elevation just wide of the field at fine leg Marilia can play some blinders he's got a wicket loaded that is terrific stuff that's his uh, first wicket international cricket Omar Gal has really performed superbly so far He's 18 years of age and he's got his first scalp. We remember this for a long, long time. Well, the mainstay of the Zimbabwean batting, Craig Wishart, has to go. Magnificent piece of bowling, good version of the seam, inducing the batsman to the drive, outside edge, good catch by the captain. And he is very, very happy. Why not? The youngsters are showing the way for the Pakistanis. They needed to get an early wicket and so does Umar Gul. 18 year old playing his first one international gets the prize wicket of Craig Wishart for eight and pa uh, Zimbabwe 21 for one. Nice shot. The straight drive is such an elegant shot and beautifully played. It's a rather gentle half volley for a first ball. Abdul Razak, he could do better than that. And uh, the batsman just leaning into it, good balance and a lot of uh, power. Just look at that head weight in front. And that's taken. Lovely delivery and he picks up his second. So it doesn't matter whether he has a perfect action or not because he's picked up his second wicket. Yeah, I think uh, what, all what matters is where you get the ball into and that was on perfect length and the line was perfect as well and you see the movement with nice upright seam. A perfect outswinger and the batsman uh, succumbing to it justly rewarded young goal you could see the delight on his face yes lovely work done by the bowler and Tafik Umar was the one who uh, got that catch Travis Swind walking back after getting nine Zimbabwe lose their second for 47 that's a nice drive he'll get runs four 
A lovely shot through the offside and it also raises Zimbabwe's 50. Merely a very strong hit on the ball when he hits it, it stays it. What a fine shot that was. So a lot depends on Merlia. Rasak really hasn't produced the pace which has bothered Merlia. As soon as it is in the slot, goes after it. And that was hit to position. Change of pace and read really well by Grandpa. That is a lovely shot through the onside. Will it be stopped? Not really. I think that's gone. That's fine. That's four. Not a good delivery from Uma Gul. And Douglas Marilia very, very quickly lashing onto that wrong line from the youngster. That's a nice try. That is a lovely shot. Just a gentle push through the onside. And that is a one very good on drive. So two fours of two balls. Well, certainly a shot off the top draw that was played with absolute perfection executed to real perfection as you would see just leaning on to it and uh, dispatching it straight past mid on a glorious shot yes wonderful timing from uh, douglas marilia not to the pitch just a gentle firm push got him forward through the on Merrily, no doubt, coming into his own here. Has played some delightful shots and now got the measure of the pitch and also of the bowling itself. So a lot would depend on how Merrily settles in to play a beginning. A little uppish ground floor, but he'll pick up at least two. Mohamed Sami very quickly across. It's been a good batting performance by Douglas Merrily opening the innings today and the reverse sweep now and I think he's gonna get four for that it gets downhill from that on another slide of no whale for Pakistan so that brings up the 50 for Douglas Marillia the promotion is worked Zimbabwe 87 for two oh in the air and he's taken a blinder what a catch it is I think it's the young man Azim Hafiz what a catch that is and the field has worked beautifully for pakistan just talking about that strange field that he has and it's worked to perfection can trying to go over the top and what a beautiful catch full stretch to his right he is delighted con has got to go one short of six thousand runs he goes for 13 zimbabwe 87 for three So that's only natural for the batsman to do. It's a 7 2 field on the offside, and well played, Dion Ibrahim. Now, Rashid Lati will have some thinking to do. He's attacking the batsman on the offside, but good response. Quicker delivery, and he's bowling. But I'm really surprised that Marilia didn't pick that one. There's enough indication that this delivery was going to be different. And another good wicket for the leg spinner. The field employed did Marilia in the end. He looks to play that on the onside. The ball came through quicker. His bat came through slowly. Gone straight through his defences. Another wicket for Canaria. He, he's got two for 18 now. Marilia goes for his highest score of 59. Zimbabwe 104 for four. Did that pretty well there's cries of catch and is he going to grab it no not quite to the ball and does it right and that is given out that is great big wicket here for the pakistanis Rennie looking to lap it on the onside paying the penalty and uh, the umpire jay prakash having no hesitation in rolling him out i tell you what umpire jay prakash uh, wasn't slow at all in bringing up that finger he normally likes to give the guys fairly quickly when it's lbw let's have a look and see where it pitches is it in line with uh, leg stump it is and uh, it might have just gone outside uh, the off stump but umpire jay prakash says that's gone a little bit of a glance from the departing batsman who was gavin ready as he goes and now zimbabwe 121 for five 
It's over the top. He's hit that pretty well. That's what they need to do. They need to have a couple of big hits here to get things back on track. They'll come back for two. So Blicknote now has got off the mark. He's trying to hit that one. Uh, he has hit it a long way up in the air. There's a field getting underneath it. It's going to be a tough catch straight through the hands of Johanna, and it goes for four. That's going to be uh, double punishment, I think, for uh, Shah Malik. He'll be very disappointed with that. Correction, it's not. Oh, my goal. He'll go again. He's hit that one. Give him another go. And that's gone for four. Java Biandad is not too impressed with this. They're packing that area now. Looking just to uh, tuck that around the corner. He has done. We'll have to wait for confirmation to see if there's any uh, bat involved. It has split the filters. And what is the call? It's off the bat. Four runs. It's gone on the offside this time. It'll probably be tagged down. It is. Or is it? No. Into the right. So that's four fours. Off the over. That is a huge over Zimbabwe. 17 from it. 145 for five. played that beautifully he's run down the track he's given himself some room and he just slapped it square for four. Oh, that was really a glorious shot by andy Blicknot with uh, the captain rashid latif packing the onside field one really wondered as to where the boundary was going to come from but just see andy Blicknot, he's got other ideas gave himself room and punished that with a really powerful blow on the offside Bowled him. Jay, that is terrific bowling. Ran down the track, made it a Yorker, played over the top of the timbers, disturbed. Well, that was good bowling indeed. The young man certainly didn't lose his composure with that boundary. Just bowled good line length. Again, Blignot continuing to go on the rampage, but this time playing over the top and seeing his thumbs rattle. An excellent delivery, a just reward for the young spinner. So Blignot goes for a very fine innings of 24 and the six wicket falls for 152. And they need uh, some good shots like that from Sean Irwin. He's uh, one man who can really destroy the attack. I've seen him play a couple of uh, blistering knocks. Absolutely brilliant stuff from the left-hander. Hit in the air, in the gap, and four. Nice stroke from Dion Ibrahim. Middle that sweep shot really well. Well, taking it from good length outside the line of off stump. It's a very difficult shot to play, but he executes it brilliantly. Taking it off the length, good use of the feet. Taking it right inside the pads. And does use his bottom hand to very good effect. There were two fielders in the deep, but he got the placement bang on target. Two easy runs. It's really a big bonus from Pakistan's uh, point of view. They can get one of their top order batsmen to get in 10 overs for less than 45. And in fact, has picked up two useful wickets. If they can do that on a consistent basis, he will be more than a useful player for Pakistan in the future. That's put away in the gap. That's a grand shot. Lovely piece of timing from Sean Irvin. Inside out drive through the offside always is uh, very good to look at. That's an absolute peach. Could be the shot of the evening. Giving himself a bit of room. That's a meaty blow. That's gone all the way. That's six. Majestic shot from Sean Irvin. Boy, when he hits, he, they stay hit. Lovely swing of the bat and uh, coming at the right at the middle of the stick. Razak getting a taste of his own medicine. That's what he did earlier in the afternoon. And Sean Irvin getting back at him this time. Magnificent strike. That's hit straight. That's gone a long way. That's out of here. That's a grand shot. Sean Irvin is enjoying this. Now Rashid Latif and uh, the leg spinner are not happy. Yes, no need to uh, consult it with a third umpire. 
clearly out. That's a big wicket for Pakistan. Sean Irvin run out. Yunus Khan, the fielder, doing good work. Magnificent take. Not the easiest one by Rashid Latif. Was on the half volley. Normally get bad bounce on the square. But caught well short of his three. Sean Irving's promising innings comes to an end. He goes for 30. Zimbabwe, 194 for 7. Oh, no help at all. What a comeback for Mohamed Sami. Inside edge and cut in the tie boot. He's gone. Well, a change of ball and a change of fortunes. Mohamed Sami had not got a wicket before this. And there we are. The inside edge straight into the stumps. The tender tie is gone. He leaves just one run to his name. Zimbabwe 197 for eight. And get uh, another couple heat streak. But what they need is not couples, the big ones. That's what Zimbabwe need at this stage. Required right now 9.47. Edge and he's gone. Easily done by Rashid Latif. So Abdul Razak also picks up a wicket. And it's the Pakistani huddle. Well, he was magnificent with the bat. Put Pakistan in a winning position and has worked here to finish off what will turn out to be a fantastic day for Pakistan heat streaks gone for seven Zimbabwe 208 for nine just one wicket remaining now for Pakistan to wrap this up Zimbabwe 210 for nine Pakistan won the toss elected to bat and they batted superbly got themselves a very very good total in the end ending 278 for seven and Zimbabwe have been behind the eight ball ever since they started now that's a good shout, that is a Jason, up goes the finger, it's all over now, by Jay Prakash once again, taking no time whatsoever and putting that finger up, but Pakistan have won this game, it's been a very, very good performance for a young side, and they've won it in fine style. Yes, there was uh, no doubt in the mind of Ampar Jay Prakash, his uh, finger went up halfway through the appeal, and uh, this really is a very comprehensive victory by the Pakistanis, and something which they should be very, very happy about. That was straight and uh, running towards uh, the leg stump, one might say. We're just straightening it out there, and uh, anyhow, what mattered was Ampar Jai Prakash's decision. So Zimbabwe all out for 210, Pakistan winning by 68 runs. As you say, a victorious Pakistan team, very, very pleased with their performance. So Dean Abraham does for a very well played uh, 31 in the end. Pakistan uh, winning this uh, quite comprehensively. They win by 68 runs. So that's a very good performance for them. A bit of a smile from Douglas Under. He knows they're outplayed by a well drilled unit. Joe Meander, of course, the new coach again. Also Rashid Atif, the new captain again. 